answers that will bring restoration receive it right now answers that will bring a turn around receive it right now answers that will establish the name of jesus receive it right now receive it right now let the believer turn the fire turn the fire turn the fire turn the fire say today any contention against my answers fire 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 say today any contention against my answers fire 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 open your mouth for your answers you will be at the right place at the right time you have the revelation you have the insight you have the foresight for your answers receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now let your image on now receive the power to command answer power to command answer power to command answer Power to command us. Your words are not empty. Your words are not wordless. They come with fire. 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 Let your image turn. Let your image turn. Let your image turn. The Lord makes you a strong territorial voice that commands answers through you. The blind will see. The lame will walk. The paralyzed will rise. Let your image turn. Let your emetan, let your emetan receive an answer that will shift the season of your life. Receive an answer that will shift the season, that will shift the season, that will shift the season. Let your emetan, let your emetan powers that reduce the answers of men. I am also let it be broken, let it be broken over your life. Let it be broken, let it be broken. Let your emetan. I announce you are sensitive to descend your answer. You are sensitive to descend your answer. You are sensitive to descend your answer. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Let your image on now. Let your image on now. You will not run after your answer. They are coming after you. 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 Prayers you made years ago. Their answers are coming. Prayers you made months ago. Their answers are coming. Prayers you made weeks ago. Their answers are coming. I said they are coming. I said they are coming. Let it rain. 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 Let your image on By the force of divine answer, you will not be stranded. You will not be stranded. You will not be stranded. You have received your answer. You have received your answer. You have received your answer. There will not be room enough. There will not be room enough. There will not be room enough to carry your answer. The rooms will not be enough. I announce let it rain. 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 
Let it rain. Let your image. Let your image. I announce now is the time. Somebody shout now. Shout now. Shout now. Shout now. Shout now. Shout now. Let your image. Add the sound of your image. Let everything align for your answer. Let everything align. Let them 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 align. Let your image turn. Let your image turn. This time around it will be easy. This time around there will be no battle. This time around there will be no contention. This time around there will be no limitation. Receive your answer. Receive your answer. Receive your answer. We announce and let the angels go to work. Angels with your answers. Angels with your answers. Angels with your answers. Let them go to work. 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 Let your image Let the Lord use your life to tell men and women that He answers prayers. Let the Lord use your life to tell a generation that He answers prayers. Let the Lord use your family to tell the people that He answers prayers. Let it happen in seven days. 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 Receive it right now. Somebody help me to say I have my answers. Oh, let somebody lift up your voice screaming, I have my answers. Say the time is now. Shout it louder, I have my answers. The time is now. Let your amen rise like fire. Let your amen rise like fire. Let your amen thunder. And I announce because of your answers, things are no longer the way they are. I announce you have your answers. Uh, bigger than you prayed about. Uh, I wish your amen would turn the louder. I say you have your answers. Uh, more than you ask the Lord for. Let your amen turn down. I say you have your answer. More than you ever dreamed of. Uh, let your amen turn down. I announce you have become uh, a distributor of answers. Uh, let your amen silence the gate of hell. Uh, somebody shouted I have my answer. I have my answers. I have my answers. I have my answers. Let your amen turn the louder. Wherever you are, would you quickly open your Bibles? Open your Bibles to the book of Luke. We read the Bible to the book of Luke, chapter 11. We read the book of Luke, chapter 11. And we begin to read from verse 11. The book of Luke chapter 11 and we'll read from verses 11 and we'll read from verses 11 to 13 hallelujah people of God would you let me pray for your family right now while your two hands are lifted I just heard the Lord say to me that there are family answers as your amen were turned I decree and declare let there be a rain of family answers let there be a rain of family answers from difficult family situations let there be a rain of family answers let your amen turn the louder the lord is leading me to declare it this way that one answer that will wipe out seven issues at the same time that one answer that one answer that will settle seven mountains at the same time as your amen will turn down i announce receive it right now receive it right now Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Let your amen turn now. Let your amen turn now. I see a tap that was flowing. All of a sudden, somebody turned it off. As your amen will turn down, whatever that was flowing in your life that was suddenly turned off at the sound of your amen, I command, let it be reopened by fire. Let it be reopened by fire. Let it be reopened by fire. Nobody will turn it off. Nobody Nobody will turn it off. 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 Let your amen turn now. Let your amen turn now. Let your amen rise. We read the book of Luke, chapter 11, from verses 11 to 13. Hallelujah. The book of Luke, chapter 11, from verse 11 to 13. And if you're there, help me say, I am there. 
please help me lift up your right hand wherever you are and declare like you really meant it just follow me whatever I do just follow me and declare after me say where I am is too small say it again like you meant it say where I am is too small say I am living where I am right now and in another 17 days I will carry the evidence if you believe it thunder it louder amen can I pray for someone may the Lord change your circle may the Lord may the Lord change your circle may the Lord may the Lord change your circle Baradar, it is time to be surrounded by helpers it is time to be surrounded by accelerators may the Lord change your circle may the men you need enter may the men you need enter may the men you need enter let your amen thunder you may not understand this but I pray for someone may you not misinterpret your season may you not misinterpret your season you have understood of your times and seasons I declare you have discernment for your times and seasons you will not misinterpret your season you will not misinterpret your season let your aim and thunder let your aim and rise let your aim and thunder the book of Luke chapter 11 and we read from verse 11 to 13 and if you're there like a mass choir at the count of three let us read together one two three if a son shall ask bread of any of you that is father will he give him a stone or if he asks a fish will he for a fish give him a serpent or if he shall ask an egg will he offer him a scorpion if he then be an evil know how to give good gifts unto your children how much more shall your heavenly father give the holy ghost to them that ask it i'm not sure you got everything at the same time but then again for an intent look at the scripture can we read it one more time if a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father will he give him a stone or if he ask a fish will he for a fish give him a serpent or if he shall ask an egg will he offer him a scorpion if he then be evil know how to give good gifts unto your children how much more shall your heavenly father give the holy spirit to them that ask him our father we ask in the next few minutes that you make your word and your will known unto us and let there be none of any man but all of you have your way father in jesus name we have prayed uh, lift up your right hand before you take your seat and declare say whatever i ask of the father say he will give unto me if you believe it can you turn that louder amen would you take your seat in the presence of the Lord? Powers that said that you will not be the evidence of an answer. At the sound of your amen, I decree it is broken over your life. About other powers that say that your answers will be seasonal, I announce that they are broken over your destiny. Powers that said you will not have the capacity to carry your answer, I decree that they are broken over your life. Let your amen turn the louder. Ancient powers that hijack answers and divert them at the sound of your amen I decree that they are broken right now delays that enter into God ordained answers at the sound of your amen I decree it is broken right now we put your answers in the rain as it falls and let your answer fall we put your answer in the air Karasha. as it blows let your answer come we put your answers in the elements of life at the rising of the sun at the showing forth of the moon at the rising of the stars i decree let your answer burst forth with them let your amen thunder louder let your amen thunder repeated battles the stiffle answers at the sound of your amen i announce that they are broken right now i said they are broken right now i said they are broken right now let your amen thunder let your amen rise i announce that your answers will not be diluted your answers will not be diluted let your amen turn the louder. Would you take your seat in the presence of God? 
he becomes interesting people of God then we look at the scripture where Jesus was given an analogy and Jesus begins to say Anabolasa, which of you I said we are if a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father will he give him a stone remember this is answer the mode of answers that Jesus begins to describe or if he ask a fish will he for a fish give him a serpent Kadabarosia. please show me the next verse the next verse or if he shall ask an egg will he offer him a scorpion I'm going somewhere I'm loving the scripture if ye then been evil know how to good give good gifts unto your children how much more shall your heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him people of God please you need to get every part of this I always would say this it is easier to stand here and prophesy and people will say amen I wish that that automatically equates with how you will receive the answer so most of the time Aborosa after the prophecy comes you need an instruction to assess the answer so people of God Rabadaha prophecy brings what you are looking for direction and instruction grants you access into it let me say it again prophecy brings what you are looking for but then again instruction and direction gives you access into it people of God interesting as it may seem Jesus begins to say if any son if ye if a son shall ask bread if a son touch your neighbor and tell your neighbor say if a son um, uh, that was a wrong neighbor leave that one get in the face of another and tell them say if a son uh, say it again like you really mean it say if a son uh, uh, touch your neighbor again by the shoulder and say if a son uh, and say it again like you really mean it say if a son uh, okay let's not go too far look at your neighbor and say if 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 tell your neighbor say I F I tell your neighbor I F why is some neighbors looking some neighbors are just looking at look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor pastor said I F say it again like you mean it say, say pastor said I F now I do not need to do an exegesis on IF because you and I already know what IF is so it is if and people of God every time you see the word if uh, that means uh, maybe maybe not um, uh, wherever you see if it means uh, um, it is a uh, highly probable and uh, uh, so it is a matter of probability please uh, don't, don't don't log out uh, just come with me uh, and, 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 and Jesus begins to say it is important for you to observe uh, that we have sons who may or may not ask we have sons they are legitimate sons and they are a part and parcel of the family but unfortunately they have put themselves in the mode called if if he does it that's fine if he doesn't do it that's still okay and people of God if you're looking at me and wondering pastor is it possible for a son to be in the place called if can I remind you of the elder brother of the prodigal son people of God stayed in the house for a long time never asked for anything never and then as soon as the Lord and as soon as the father right now begins to reach out to the younger brother because the younger brother asked he got offended and he said to his father but I've been here with you even ordinary small goat you did not give me there's a problem with that elder brother that elder brother belongs to those uh, that are of the if generation uh, people of God we don't say if uh, people of God we know we will uh, because it is of the father's goodwill to give us the kingdom uh, he wants to give you something uh, and that is the reason that we ask uh, ask and ye shall be and she shall receive uh, uh, seek and ye shall find uh, knock and the door shall be opened unto you it's not a matter of if uh, look at your neighbor tell your neighbor I will ask uh, you know the truth is that the reason why I will ask is that Jesus decided to use a typology to create an atmosphere of answer in the scripture and then he talks about a son and a father and then he begins to create that relationship between a son and a father don't get it twisted the reason why the son will ask is that the father is not a figure the father is a source so people of God from the original Greek and Hebrew the meaning of the word father is source 
So people of God, if I don't ask my source, who will I ask? How can I be near a source and it will still be under probability? How can I be under near a source and I'll be acting, maybe I should ask, maybe I should not ask. He is my source. I want some people here to not mind some other people. Some other people, their uncles are their sources. People of God, some of their connections are their sources. But I will remember that I will look up my eyes onto the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord. And people of God, if he is my source, I don't share my faith with other things. I put all my faith in him. If he is my source, I put all my hope in him. If he is my source, I put all my desire in him. Because you know what? He will not bring me this far and leave me stranded. Look at your neighbor again say, it is not a matter of if. Tell your neighbor, he is my source. Say, I am the son. Say, he is my source. Say, I am the son. If you understand the thunder, you louder. Amen. While you compartmentalize that in one corner of your mind, Jesus makes a twist that worried me in the scripture. And then, as he began to give this um, hypothetical example, he talks about how many of you, if your son asks you for um, a bread, will you give him a stone? And he said, if your son asks you for fish, will you give him a snake? And if your son asks you for egg, will you give him a scorpion? Then he says, now listen to this. I love this. And this is where worries me. How shall your heavenly father how then yes how much more right how much more shall your heavenly father give the holy spirit to them that ask him i was expecting jesus to say how much more shall your heavenly father give bread give eggs give fish give uh, uh, what is it called fried rice give uh, a fang soup give uh, a dick icon okay let me take it over give ferrari give lamborghini give all of and then he says what the heavenly father wants is those whose appetites are changed enough he said how much more shall your heavenly father give the holy spirit to them that ask him oh my goodness so sir he rearranges the equation and says if you've not asked me for the holy spirit don't ask me for fish if you've not if you and i have not had conversations about these matters of the spirit i'm afraid a request for an egg might be turned down if you and I have not sat down and we have deep conversation about consecration about letting everything go that you may hold on to all that matters I'm afraid I know that if you ask for fish you are about to spend it on your lust and not on my will and it says every day so you know the bible says I, i'm not the one that said it the heavenly father has sent the angels an assignment and so they all carry their meters or whatever it is their diaries and their recordings and all they are moving around is as the prayers are coming they are checking out what did they ask what did they ask and that one said ah you know that she she she, she just asked for fish another he said has she had a conversation about her spiritual hunger yet and i said no no conversation he said leave that one let's go and find someone who is talking about he said has he has he had a conversation about lord help me to give more help me to give more to you to the kingdom and all of that he said no yes he said please leave that one let's go to another person another and then people of god you know what you call the answer to your prayer is the kind of rain that fell to the unrighteous and fell to the righteous at the same time so he wasn't really an answer even an unbeliever got what you got but the lord says if you and i can have a deeper conversation if we can have a deeper conversation there are things you will not beg me for they become byproduct oh my goodness lord i 
land. Give us the appetite, Ribalasha, for what matters, Kaliana, so that answers will become what will trail our destinies. So until until Jerry he changes your appetite Karaba, there are answers that will never come and then you're wondering pastor I'm frustrated right now and the Lord say I want to have that conversation about your appetite I want to have that conversation about that I may know him I want to have that conversation about mortifying ye therefore the deeds of the flesh until I have that conversation, you're gonna beg for egg and I will turn it down. Because I want to show forth my power. Remember, if you've forgotten, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the Bible says, and the earth was without form and void. And the Bible says, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. Now look at the first thing we find out. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the deep. In other words, before anything tangible ever started happening, the Spirit of God was already moving. Before your car comes, can I make you know the Holy Ghost? Before some things open, can you learn how to sit down with the Word? for one hour and you are searching the world I'm not searching because I need a car I'm searching because I want to know you because all he wants is I'm ready to give the Holy Spirit to them that ask what impresses your heavenly father is not the same that impresses your earthly father let me let you know this he is still changing the appetites of men. There were people you saw two weeks ago. You need to look at them twice because their appetites have changed. As many that are hunger and thirst after righteousness. Lift up your two hands wherever you are. Say, My father, my father. Say, Change my appetite. Say it again. Say, My father, my father. Can you shout it? Change my appetite. Say, my father, my father, change my appetite. If you believe it, turn that louder. Amen. People of God, you know, if you don't know, I want you to realize that the devil is always trying to duplicate answers. Replicate rather. That's a more appropriate word. I replicate answers. But then again, there is something that makes your answer distinct. Is the capacity city of the enemy not to replicate it and that is where the strangeness of the works of God or the acts of God is and they say I'm, I'm, I'm not going to give Labada like your earthly father I want to tick off some boxes for you in the spirit I've had a conversation about hunger with this guy in the spirit I've, I've, I've had a conversation about consecration with this guy I've, I've had a con conversation about Ibaha because uh, man say, I don't want to if I give you that fish you will feed your pride if I don't deal with your pride and I give you an egg rabadaba, the egg will mess up your mind and that is why I want to put you together Randy Basa that is why I want to let's have the first conversation first do I need to quote it again seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all the things shall be added unto you if you understand that can you turn that louder amen somebody lift up your two hands say my source uh -huh. say my father my source uh -huh. say my father my source uh -huh. you are all i have uh -huh. you are all i want to have uh -huh. say my father uh -huh. my source uh -huh. say today uh -huh. let your life uh -huh. flow in me uh -huh. say my father uh -huh. my source uh -huh. say let your spirit uh -huh. flow in me uh -huh. let your amen thunder louder and I want everyone under the sound of my voice to realize that this is where it all starts. 
this is where it all starts because you know what what he's looking for and what the early fathers are offering they are different things you, you people think about it think about it think about it even you as a human being even you as a human being even you as a human being people of God sometimes we are very willing to give when your desire and the desire of the person is aligning but then again, every time he comes out and says, Baraba, for when we pray in accordance with his will that he heareth us but every prayer has been in accordance with your will never with his will and he says can you and i have the first conversations first he says these things will happen these things i will know i will make you know that i am god i will release them it is in my nature to release these things but i want you and i to sit down and have a conversation about how angry you get i want you and I to sit down and have a conversation about the things that are not working in your life because if I can fix you I will fix things am I communicating say lift up your two hands say father say my father my father say let your power let your life flow freely inside of me if you understand it can you turn that in louder amen let somebody help me declare say today every wrong hunger every wrong appetite say die shout it again say die scream it again say die if you believe it can you turn that in louder amen so people of God, Karabashia, from today onwards, all he's saying is, prioritize your hunger. This is where he begins from. But then again, interesting as it may seem, allow me to take you on another mode for this answer. He says something very significant. And he says, if ye fathers being evil if you then being evil know how to give good gifts unto your children remember he was creating a hypothetical example that every line of it is important you see if you then being evil <laughs> know how to give good gifts hey. if you then being evil know how to give Good. remember Jesus was every every line of the scripture is, is, a, is, an, is an answer if he then being evil know how to give good gift I wish somebody would just jump in where I'm going to but if he then being what evil know how to do what give good gift can I say for the last time if he then what being evil so the father Jesus was describing he said you know what there are some evil things that produce good things So the devil sits back in his meeting and organizes it and say when it lands at Okechuku's house, it will just be an evil. It will be one evil thing that will take their joy, take their peace. But what he did not understand, that Jesus had already said, if he then being evil, know how to give what a good gift. So this is it. For we know that all things work together for our good. For those that love God and to them who are the called according to his word. I came with a word for someone. When your answer is coming most times. <laughs> I wish I can find envelope and uh, yeah, no. yes. Is it terrible? I need a terrible envelope. Thank you, ma'am. You're doing okay. Can I get a paper? Can I get, get a letter? Would you let me? Or a paper, something I can tear. I can tear it. Great. You're not sure I should tear that one. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, so you, you, you can imagine, right? Someone writes you a letter, right? Someone writes you a letter. So this is the letter the person wrote. And puts it into an envelope. And the letter arrives at your house. Now, people of God, how many of you ever... <laughs> when you got this the first thing you did was to 
open your envelope. How many of us usually will open the envelope? Tell the envelope, I really love you. I really love you. Let me keep the envelope for posterity. Whoever does that, nobody does that. Nobody. If you then been evil, if you see them, the envelope is evil. But what is inside it is good. So this is the way when God wants to send the devil on assignment. He uses an envelope that doesn't look good to you. So when it lands where you are, you start freaking out. You start asking God what kind of thing. People of God, it's just an envelope. It's just an envelope. It's just an envelope. And what I need you to do is that when you come across such things, there is something we do. Some of you, if I ask you the envelope that brought the $10,000 uh, 10, check, you don't know where the envelope is, Pastor. What I came in on earth to do is not to look at envelope. I came to check, people of God, the monies that were given to you, if I ask you where their envelopes are, the 20K you got last week, where is their envelope? So what we do is that we go to the evil. Eh? <laughs> your problem, let me tell you your problem. Me, I know your problem. Your problem is that you've not turned the envelope. That is why you've not seen the good. So you're still looking at it. Oh God, this is not right. God says, no, I put something in it. I put something in it. You will not see it until you tear the envelope. Some of you, what you need to tear is the envelope of your mindset. Tear it, Kabara, Shabara, Endorosaya. Some of you, Madrid, Abaraka. It is the envelope of cycles and patterns. You need to tear it because Kabara Shaha, if you then been evil, know how to give good gifts. Can we try it right now? Can we try it right now? Rise on your feet with a loud voice of fire. I didn't hear that word. Can somebody scream fire? Can you shout it louder? Thunder fire. Can you scream it for higher? Say fire. Say today. 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 Any covering of evil around my good. Say right now. I tear. 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 My fire. My fire. My fire. My fire. My fire. Can you open your mouth and tear? Tear. Tear. A shabada. A lebede. A rocota. A shada. A rabada. Rakatobada. Rabeda. A sakita. A lebeda. A shada. A rabeda. A shabada. A yatota. A labada. Something good will come out of it. Something good will come out of it. A shabada. A rabede. A rakota. A rabada. A shabade. A kota. A rabeda. A shakada. Let the believer turn down louder. Amen. So I came to let you know that when something unpleasant comes, please don't curse the situation. Tear the envelope. Did you hear what I just said? Let me say something to you. You are too much in the will of God by reason of how you pray for the devil to tamper with your life. I didn't talk to everyone. Listen, even if you don't have a prayer life, you are in an atmosphere where prayers are going on. <laughs> I am too much into God for me to believe that the devil is playing ten ten with my destiny. There's too much of the word that I'm confessing for me to all I need to do is to tear the envelope. And as your amen will thunder, let me announce to just 600 persons who their amen will tear this roof. Hear me clearly. Whatever the enemy meant for evil, in another seven days, testimonies are coming out of it. Hey, 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 hey. Things that made you cry. Things that made you shed tears. Things that made you ask God, where are you? Ipakatola. Testimonies are coming out. 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 So 
somebody help me thunder say I tear the envelope I tear the envelope I tear the envelope let your amen thunder louder I came to remind you don't break down yet don't curse God yet don't get tired yet don't get frustrated yet because something beautiful something mind-blowing is about to come out of it and that is why I am begging you Robo before you take any decision make sure the Lord has granted you discernment on how you should tear the envelope because it's not as bad as it seems it's not as bad as a pastor all of a sudden all of a sudden from nowhere they just stopped talking to me some of you if you know what God did you will ask them to keep their talk before they talk you out of destiny <laughs> Sabada, Pastor, you had no idea. All of a sudden, I didn't know what happened. I was that business did not work out again. Karada, you didn't know that what happened is just an envelope. It's just an envelope. You need to sit back and say, Lord, teach me what to do with this. Ibala is not as bad as the enemy wants me to believe that it is. For the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He leadeth me beside a steel wall. I know it is all in your plan. If you understand it, can you turn that louder? Amen. Amen. Let me say this to everyone. If it is not the father it comes as a stone it comes as a snake and it comes as a scorpion let me say it again how you will know that this is not the father the Bible says every good and perfect gift comes from the father hey, Arabalaba, from the father of light with whom there is no variableness neither shall people of God so if it is good and not perfect it's not really the father so sir I want you to know that there are things that people will tell you this might be the father and it is a stone when did he start giving us stone you know what I mean by stone? Situations that you try to crack. You are trying to crack this thing. You have been trying to crack it for one year. It is still like that. It no be the father. Somebody help me shout. Say every stone. Say break by fire. I didn't talk to everyone but I know there are people here who understand that there are situations that are proved like stones in your life prove like stones in your family somebody thunder say every stone say every stone break by fire break by fire break by fire let your amen thunder louder let me tell you let me tell you this so the tactics of the devil hasn't really changed so he meets Jesus in the wilderness and say sir there's a stone here there's a stone here but you know what sir if you can speak a word right now you can turn these stones to become bread Jesus reminded him even if I turn them to become vanilla ice cream the raw material is still a stone pastor where are you going to this is the lie of the enemy. He will look at the stone, decorate it, so that you will call it another name. It is still a stone. He will take the stone, he will infuse it into system in your office. He said, that is the way things happen in my office. How about God raising you to be the one that will break it? He raises the stone and said, that's the way things work in our family. That's the way things uh, People don't uh, succeed. Whenever we get somewhere, our road will just block and all of that. People of God, you are now excusing the stone that the devil has brought. Given reasons why the, that is what the devil said to Jesus. You know what? If you just speak a word, this stone will not just become bread. It will not be what you think, sir. <laughs> it's not really a stone, no. It's not really a stone. It depends on how you look at it. Our perspectives might differ. It depends on how you look at it. If you just speak a word now, this will no longer be a stone it will now become bread so if you call it another name it is the thing that runs in our family it's no longer a stone <laughs> if you say I don't know why I'm always getting disappointed it's me it's me the 
people are always hating me. People are I don't know why. It is no longer a stone. If you say, this is exactly the same thing that happened to my mother and my mother died and know that it is not happening to me. The devil likes. Please, by all means, don't blame me. By all means, don't see it as an obstacle. See it as something you cost yourself. See it as something that happens in your family. See it as your mistake. See it as your failure. See it as something that is happening in the environment so that I can continue to fortify the stone. See it as a policy in your office. Raise your voice. If there is anybody who is saying, let that stone stone himself, can you shall fire? If you know there are stones that must live your life, live your family, live your children, can I hear you shall fire? 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 People of God, you'd realize that every time the Bible lets us into a stone, it wasn't something pleasant. And when it was time for Jesus to rise, the angels went to the tomb. And all they did was do what? Roll away the stone. We're not here to discuss with the stone. People of God, do you realize that Jesus had already risen? But the angel wanted the stone to realize this pattern will not continue. So sometimes the stones are there for you to break it for others. Some of you will testify that God has been kind to you. The things that happen to your other family members are not really happening in your life. You will testify. But that is not time to celebrate. Jesus rose with the stone at the grave. But the angel had to come to remove the stone so that there will be an evidence for a generation. You may have escaped it, but roll it away for your brothers. Did you hear what I just said right now? You may have escaped it, roll it away for your sisters. You may have escaped it, roll it away for those that you call beloved. Am I communicating? And people of God, this was exactly what it is. If it is not a stone, the next thing it is, is a snake. Don't let me walk and unbundle the snake. Jesus knew what he was saying. That is why he said, every one of this, if you are ever in the pursuit of a divine answer and you meet a stone, please don't stop. Can I say it one more time? If you are ever in the pursuit of a divine answer and you meet a stone, please don't stop. Because according to the principles of the scripture, we roll away stones. We don't identify with them. Am I communicating? The next thing Jesus was going to cite was a snake. People of God, from Genesis, the first time we saw that being, all he came to do was to deceive. All he came to do was to clone itself in a way it is not, in order to take the woman and the man out of destiny. People of God, let me tell you one of the greatest hindrances to answers is that sometimes the devil succeeds in deviating and distracting you and you will miss your answer. Till today, the devil has not lost in that assignment. And all he does is that, you know what? If my answer is supposed to meet me here, right? He generally moves me. Not too far. Not too far. Jerry, take three steps. One, two, three. And then my answer comes looking for me here. And it didn't find me. But when I am moving, I may not understand it until I get to a critical season. And then I begin to feel, yeah, yeah. But by then, I've lost opportunities. I've lost, sometimes lives may have been lost. The serpent, the serpent, the serpent is still moving men, Kabarasha, distracting men and then you don't know focus is broken ah, there's no prayer I, will, I like praying for people in this season and at the prayer I'm pray people listen I have seen greatness I've seen greatness fall like a pack of cards because of broken focus broken focus I have seen destinies get shrunk because of broken focus as your amen will thunder, anybody whose focus has been broken, as your amen will thunder, let there be a restoration of your focus. Yeah. And 
and people of God, this is the way the serpent. The serpent wants to disturb your focus, distort your focus, deviate your focus. And then the last thing is scorpion. People of God, I need you to understand that if it is hurting you, it cannot be an answer. Don't settle for what hurts because you have not gotten what God has sent. I know what I am saying. There are some people who are in that place. Oh, pastor, this is, this is the only one that has come. This is, and the Lord says, that's not an answer. That's not an answer. This answer is stinging you. This answer can't let you fulfill destiny. That cannot be an answer. Am I communicating? Don't forget, Jesus said, stone serpent scorpion it is not from the father am i communicating can never be don't settle for it because don't i don't have the time i would have told you that each one leads to each one when it is too hard you might succumb to the temptation of seduction and from seduction you will get into the place of the scorpion stinging you and jesus said you must be wary of these things because that is not the way I operate. But notice carefully as I get ready to tidy up tonight. Jesus says, please take me back to verse 11 if you don't mind. And he says, if a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father, will he give him a stone or if he asks for fish will he give a, um, 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 if he asks for a please take me back there yes if he asks a fish will he for a fish give him a serpent yes um, verse 12 for or if he shall ask an egg will he offer him a scorpion yes if he then being evil know how to give good gifts unto your children how much more shall your heavenly father give the holy spirit to them that ask him people of God let me say this to you always take note of what you asked so that you can identify your answer everything that comes after a prayer is not an answer take note of what you've prayed about so that you can tell that this is my answer or this cannot be my answer I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying and I need you to understand that in this instance it's got to be the father and the son communicating when there is no relationship there will be no answer when it is not the son reaching to the source there might not be any answer am I communicating now I need you to know that there is a battle here. Jesus quickly says, for every time it is not a fish, it might be a serpent. Every time it's not an egg, ha, it might be a scorpion. Every time it is not a bread, it might just be a stone. Be mindful of substitution. Did you hear what I just said right now? If you, if you don't get it, if you don't get it, you might succeed in praying for a fish and you'll be given a snake and you will carry it. This is what I call exchange of destiny. This is what I call being given what can never be your state. Rise on your feet wherever you are. Lift up your right hand and decree after me. Say today. I didn't hear you. Can you turn that say today? Say every exchange in destiny. Say I break it. I break it. I reverse it. Say today. Every exchange in my destiny. Let it be reversed. 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 Let, it be reversed. Let your amen turn the louder. I decree it is done. With your two hands lifted, and declare, say, I have my answers. Can you shout it louder? Say, I have my answers. Can you shout it again? Say, I have my answers. Can you scream it better? I have my answers. I decree it is done. Nothing missing and nothing broken. In Jesus' name we have prayed.
celebrate the Lord by putting those hands together for the Lord. Right about now, would you put together your offerings, your tithes and your partnership and raise it up before the Lord. The account details of the church are on the screen. So you might as well do that right away. Put together your offerings, your tithes and your partnership and raise it before the Lord. In streams of joy, we stand to give to God. Men and the brethren. Brethren in the Lord, would you rise to the honor of the king that we love? Once your name is not Jesus Christ, I'm expecting you to rise on your feet with your offerings, your tithes and your partnership. Make it a wave offering. Make it a wave offering. Let the blessings of those who have honored the Lord with their offerings, their tithes, and their partnership be your portion. Nothing missing and nothing broken. It is a new season. In Jesus' name we pray. Go ahead and drop your offerings, your tithes, and your partnership. And as you're doing that, Kabo Shada, we are going to take the announcement. Mama will come and uh, give us the, our announcement and then the benediction. Celebrate the Lord like you will. Can we celebrate our papa? The angel over this commission for that amazing one. Is this how you can't be sitting down to celebrate Papa? That's not the culture of this place. If a neighbor is sitting down, they should be either the serpent or the scorpion or the stone. <laughs> Can we celebrate our Papa deliberately? What do we say to our Papa? What do we do after saying that? Thank you, sir, for blessing us. Wow. Wow, wow. Who is excited to have Papa with us? Wow. Thank you, Papa, for blessing us. Thank you, sir. Okay, so if you've given your offerings, you can take your seats. NSPPD continues tomorrow. Who is excited? What is tomorrow? We are three years old. Please, can we celebrate God deliberately? Some people are not excited. Do you know what it means to be three years old? God, Papa has shown up every day from Monday to Friday for three solid years. If you can do it, don't celebrate God. I think social media, they were telling us uh, is how many, how many weeks, how many months, how many days. Um, they, we put it out, you know, when you break it down. It's been amazing. So tomorrow, make sure you join us for NSPPD. It's going to be amazing. Remember, we received the ministry of Mercy Chimo as well. It is going to be an amazing time. 7 a.m. is the time. If I were you, I will come live. But even if you can't come live, make sure you connect wherever you are and be part of what God is doing. So NSPP to be three. It's also, it is finally my time and my turn. Remember to write seven things NSPPD anniversary will remind you of. Remember, Papa said, write seven things so that when you remember three years anniversary, you know that it was that that bettered the answers. It's also going to be a Holy Ghost party. Aha. Special generational prayers and declaration will be released. There will also be special moments of creative miracles and congratulations galore. Operation, your contenders must lose. You are quiet though. Operation, your contenders must lose. Operation Glorious Emergence. Someone should be shouting amen. amen. Operation Break That Protocol. Amen. Operation I Have Been Preferred. Amen. Operation Evil Low Drop Off by Fire. Amen. And there will be a release of seven prophetic blessings as well. Please make sure you're here. Don't come alone. You can't even just invite two new persons. Invite everybody you know to be part of what God is going to be doing tomorrow on the altar of fire. And tomorrow is Thursday. It also is our afternoon worship. We have it by 1 p.m. And um, you can join us online for that. Then by 5 p.m. Remember to come for our worship and warfare. Um, Thursday prayers. It's, um, we continue with Jubilee in March. Jubilee 
in March. And also, um, remember, it is going to be our fourth Thursday of our seven Thursdays of preservation and good health. So we're going to be receiving the oil. Remember, I anoint us after each um, Thursday service. You know, after before we leave, you're anointed with the oil of what? Preservation and good health. God told us to do that for seven Thursdays. And I know that it is because of you. Don't miss it for anything. People have been part of this for the past um, three Thursdays. Tomorrow is going to be the fourth Thursday. Hallelujah. So make it a date with us. Sunday service is living with a lot of holy excitement. Who is excited? I don't know why you're shouting, but I think I know why you're shouting. Uh, if you want to shout, shout. Shout.